predicting products for synthesis reactions. The rules or types of synthesis reactions. The first is the most broad uh, combination of elements. A uh, simple A plus B goes to form AB. The example we have is iron plus sulfur goes to form iron sulfide. Next, we have a non-metallic oxide and water yield an acid. So for example, sulfate plus water yields sulfuric acid. Next, we have um, a metallic oxide adding with water yielding a base. And for the example we have, it's uh, calcium oxide plus water yields calcium hydroxide. Next, um, a metal plus a non-metal will yield a salt. Carbon dioxide plus um, sodium oxide yield sodium carbonate. Next, we have metal and oxygen, which yields a, me a metallic oxide. So for example, magnesium plus oxygen will, lead, uh, will yield magnesium oxide. Finally, when a nonmetal and oxygen react, uh, they form a non-metallic oxide. For example, carbon plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide. On each of these slides, we have practice problems for you to do with each of the rules for synthesis reactions. This first one is combination of elements. Now, while you work out the problems, you can just pause the video and then play when you have your answers so you can check them. So the answer for the first example, when you add nitrogen and hydrogen together, you will yield ammonia with the correctly balanced equation. And the answer for the second one, when you add silver and sulfur, it will yield sulfur sulfide. All right, next, we have non-metallic oxide and water, which yield an acid. So pause the video and work these problems out. So when you have carbon dioxide and water, that will yield carb carbonic acid. When you have dinitrogen pentaoxide with water, you will get nitric, nitric, nitric acid. Next, we have uh, metallic oxide and water reactions. And these reactions uh, yield bases. So take time to solve these problems. OK. Uh, Lithium pl oxide plus water yields lithium hydroxide. Magnesium oxide plus water yields magnesium hydroxide. So these, the metals and the nonmetals, these will yield salts. So, I mean, for this first one, um, sodium plus chloride, chlorine, if you didn't get this one pretty immediately, here's the answer. It's salt. <laughs> when you have a metal and an, uh, an oxygen together, you get metallic oxide. So, for example, when you have calcium and oxygen together, you will get calcium oxide. And when you have potassium and oxygen together, you will get potassium oxide. Next, we have nonmetal and oxygen reactions. So take time to solve these and then play when you're ready. Okay, sulfur plus oxygen yields sulfur dioxide. Oxygen plus nitrogen yields nitrogen oxide. Congratulations, you have finished the PowerPoint for synthesis reactions. We hope it was informative.